to the Pagan Preppers YouTube channel. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to be making wine. Now I've been making wine on and off for about nine years and today we're going to make a sticky toffee pudding wine. The equipment we're going to need today is a fermenting bucket and an airlock and a spoon and then the technical bit later is a hydrometer, a hydrometer tube, and this is called a wine thief, otherwise known as a turkey baster. So all the equipment has been sterilized. So we take the lid off here, and this is our fermenting bucket. Now I found this recipe online, and this is my adapted version of it. So first, into the bucket, we have 200 grams of black treacle. Now I've mixed this with some water just for ease because it was very, very thick. So that goes into the bucket. Next we have 680 grams of runny honey. This as well I've mixed with some water just for ease. In there. Okay, the third ingredient is going to be 500 grams of dark brown sugar. It's all in. And then 200 grams of white sugar. It's all in the bucket. We'll give that a quick stir around. It smells amazing already. Now in there I'm going to pour one and a half litres of boiling water. So I'll boil the kettle and we'll pour that one and a half litres straight into the bucket. stir around to dissolve all the sugars together. Now all these sugars are going to be food for the yeast to eat and produce alcohol. Now that the sugars are dissolved in the bucket, we're going to add one large lemon cut up and one large orange lemon and an orange. Now this is the citric acid that the wine will need. So along with the sugars and the citric acid from the lemon and the orange, we're going to add some fruit. Now I'm going to add 200 grams of raisins, and 450 grams of chopped dates. That'll get some other stir up. already. There's three more things that I'm going to add to this bucket. The first one is one of these mulled spice tea bags. Now this will not only add flavour but it will add tannins to the wine and that just goes straight in. Now we've already added one and a half litres of boiling water to this, now we're going to add three and a half litres of cold water which is two of these jugs. So now we have to wait until the temperature of this wine 
is down to around 20 degrees. Okay, so it's been 20 minutes, and this has now cooled down to around 20 degrees C. And now we're going to take some of the wine to put in the hydrometer tube and take a reading. This will show us how much sugar is in the liquid. So we use our turkey baster. drop our hydrometer in. So this has given us a reading of 1.110. Now, if this wine fully ferments out to dryness, then this should give us a wine of around 14%. Now, as this equipment has all been sterilized, this liquid can go back in. Okay, so this is looking really good. We've just got two more ingredients to add to this. The first is one teaspoon of wine nutrient. Give that a stir around. And the last, of course, is the yeast. And I'm using a high alcohol wine yeast. This yeast is uh, tolerant to around 20%, so it should be fine for this wine. And I'm gonna put this whole packet in. Okay, so the final stage for this wine today is to give it another stir, put the lid on, and add an airlock. sealed up. Here's the airlock, put a little bit of water in. And there we go. And we're, I'm going to keep this in the kitchen now for five days. And each morning I'm going to open it up and give it a stir. After this five days, I'll siphon this off into a clean sterilised demijohn and then leave it to ferment out. I hope you like this video. If you do, please leave a comment below and I'll do more wine videos. Thanks for watching.